Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Barbie the Movie unboxing. Today we have got the wonderful, powerful President Barbie, played by Issa Rae in the new live-action Barbie the Movie. This is another one of our pricier dolls. She is $50.00. That is the non-scalper price. These dolls are also not limited. So they are going to be available everywhere for, you know, the foreseeable future, most likely. So don't freak out when, she, when they say she's out of stock and things like that. They're most likely going to do restocks because Mattel is not going to lose out on that money with a movie this big by making purely limited dolls. So, she is very pretty. She is in a ball gown, which I think is wonderful. She has superhero arms. The big question that I have is what do her legs look like? Because if her legs are already made to move, then I don't need to rebody her. But if she just has, um, if she just has plain articulated knees, then I'm gonna have to rebody her. Compared to Gloria, who was our previous review, she came on a fully made to move body. Now with the superhero bodies, it is hit or miss sometimes whether or not they have the made to move knees. Now, most of the time they don't have made to move ankles. They just don't. I don't know why, but they don't. Sometimes they have thigh articulation, sometimes they don't. We shall see. But let me show you her box. She has a different box. The background of her box, which we'll see here in a minute, is her like Barbie head office or whatever shape it's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be an oval office or not. Uh, she does have the same back of the box. Here is her UPC and item number for everybody looking for her. And she is really pretty. Now, these boxes are a little bit harder to open just because they are like flaps. So you do have to be a little more careful with these if you don't want to tear them. Now, because these dolls retail for 50, and because these boxes in particular are actually designed to be able to put the doll back in the box, I'm taking a little bit more care than I normally would, just because the backgrounds on these dolls, or the backers, I guess is a better way to say that, uh, are really pretty. Okay, so there is our box. I'm going to show you guys her without the, uh, without the plastic in the way. She's very pretty. She's got a lot of hair. I'm going to take this stand piece out while I can kind of grab it. So we do have another one of this pearled plastic sparkly stands, which is good. We like that. Um, and then we've got a lot going on. Here that we're gonna have to cut her out, most likely. But as you can see, we've got another um, little certificate. Whoop. No limited number on here, so they're not gonna lose that bag just by making limited dolls, not when they had to pay to have the movie made. So, a nice easy certificate. We are going to try our best to get these dolls out. Uh, this one I feel like this plastic might be easier to just shove it through because it's already folded. That was easier. Um, 
And then we've got this one here, which is okay. Got that cut out. This is a little bit thinner plastic, like what we had on the uh, on the Perfect Day Barbies, which were really easy to cut out. But some of these have a little bit of that harder plastic. Let's put this one around. Almost got stabbed in the leg because my uh, box cutter fell off. Oh well. That is the risk we run, right? Okay. And then our last one. This box is a little flimsier, this insert. Um, as you can tell, it's wobbling around a little bit more than I'd love. It's fine, we just shoved that last one through. So, we've got that. I am going to nip this down here to kind of free her feet, which is the last thing holding her to the box, I think, but She's in a ball gown, so they might have done that already, and I just don't see it. They did. Right here. At the front of the box, she has two things, two little staples that are holding her dress on. We're going to try to get right under that. to try to get that off okay so we've got her right there out of the box she's very cute she's got these tiny little earrings which I do love those usually um, and then we can just kind of pop our insert back together and try keep everything nice like that is so cool. It's like the Oval Office, but it's pink. Of course that orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. I'm a little sad there's not a Reese Witherspoon cameo in this because they made a Reese, actually they've made two Reese Witherspoon Barbies. Well, that's not gonna work. It is not, it is not letting me cut from that side. Uh, but it's very cute. Okay, and we're gonna get our last piece, which is our stand piece. Now, I did cheat a little bit because I looked under the skirt and it shows that her knees are wrapped, which is a good thing because it means we've got articulated legs. Whether or not that articulation is made to move, we're gonna find out here in just a second, but this little folds on the top of the boxes really giving me issues I don't know why I'm just not used to reassembling boxes but as you can see it's a very pretty backer in that box and we're gonna put her so she has got a light pink stand which is wunderbar we're going to assemble her stand so that way she can use it. And we are going to get the rest of her out of the box. 
That is our goal. Okay. All right. Another one of those. There's a lot of stuff securing her, which is fine. I don't love it when they do that. But at a $50 doll, you know, I'd rather them be in their display capabilities. Okay, our last one. Okay. So there we go. We got that one out. She's still got a few things on her hands, which we're going to take off right there. And then another one of these. I never quite know why they do these ones, but they do. All right. And because that is not going to slide over that hand easily. We're going to cut it. Okay. So here she is. She has got her president's stat sash done in the classic Barbie script. She has got her superhero arms. Notice they don't have that upper articulation. This is the kind of body I avoid when getting the uh, I can't remember the inspiring women line because they do this body a lot because it has more realistic proportions and so they don't give them Barbie bodies now she has a really pretty uh, necklace that's flowers you can't really tell what it is here in the light but let me cut off one of my lights and see if that helps. You can get a little bit of that definition right there. But it's very pretty. Now let's see what her face mold is. Because I don't remember what she is supposed to be. Okay, so she's a 2011 sculpt. So she's not a new sculpt. Which is fine, not all dolls need brand new sculpts. Her dress is really pretty. These are iron-on designs though, they're not embroidery. Um, and it's just one layer of tulle and then a layer of like, um, sateen, probably. The gold on the bodice does not, um, does not transfer all the way around, which is a little sad. Um, her dress is actually a little small for her, which makes me think that they were going to put her on a fully made-to-move body and not a superhero body, but that's okay. She's got kind of basic shoes. I don't like this one as much as I like the Gloria, Bar Gloria Barbie. Now, we're going to take a look... So we don't have upper thigh articulation. So already that's not as good as Gloria. But she can be saved if she has made to move knees and not just articulated knees. Okay, so she's got made to move knees. That's fine. So she's not going to get a rebody from me because that's close enough for a doll like this because she's actually going to be a little bit harder to find a skin tone match for, I have a feeling. She might be a match for the blue skin tone Barbie, the blue yoga Barbie. And I'm going to grab one of those right now to show you guys. But let's see. Okay, so here's Blue Yoga. Okay, yeah, so she's a little bit darker. So this is not gonna work. 
let's compare her to some of the other more readily available dolls. So we have Tamika, again, a little dark for her. Here is the most recent wheelchair Barbie. That's gonna be too dark. Let's compare to the original wheelchair Barbie. Again, still a little dark. And then the only other one that's readily available, this is an Amazon exclusive one, is gonna be too light. So yeah, she is gonna be one of those tones that is a little bit of a nightmare to tone match. So this is gonna be the body that she stays on for me, just because there's not another, um, there's not another made to move body that's readily available that is gonna improve her articulation. Because ideally I'd love to put her on to a made to move body, um, but realistically this will work just fine because she can't actually really do the superhero, like Wonder Woman pose that, you know, we'd expect from a mold called superhero because her arms don't turn out that much to be able to do that pose, which bothers me more than a little bit, which is why I'm not a huge fan of the superhero mold. But alas, it's fine. And she's actually a little tall for her stand. So if we put that, oh, cause she's not actually on her stand, it's caught on her dress. Okay. So very cute. Let me tilt you guys back up. So she's really cute. Like that dress, is really pretty. Her hair could use a little bit of a comb, but not too much. I really like those tight ringlets that they have gelled at the end. Um, this dress does not feel as well made as Gloria's suit. Like, I could see this being a holiday Barbie doll. Like, honestly, I could. Um, but it's still really cute. It bothers me that she has metallic gold necklace, but then like dull gold earrings, but that's kind of, you know, par for the course. They could have embroidered these details and it would have been a little bit better. Like this is about what you can do with a Cricut. Like it's glitter, uh, heat transfer vinyl. Like it's not, it's not bad, but at $50, I would have preferred a fully made-to-move body and embroidered details and not iron-on details. And I would have loved if they could have actually continued that gold bodice around to the back of the dress, as you can see right there. It is not gold. So, she's really cute. I do like that she comes with a stand. I'll show you guys how she fits back in the box on the stand. And she goes right back onto her little like platform thing that she was standing on in the box. And I just came off of the actual tree. And so she just goes like that, right back into the box. And we could display her on the stand so she's not really gonna move too much from side to side, which is good because for now I am kind of displaying all of my Barbie movie dolls in the boxes. So she's really pretty. She is probably my favorite face that we've gotten. And I'm gonna have to double check what that face mold is. 
because it's not a new face mold. It's a 2011, like we said earlier. So, very cute, but also um, not one that's really used all the time, I don't think. So, I'm going to have to double check it. So, if you guys have any questions on this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.